The Cartoon Guide to Genetics Part 1 Dedication to Production Without which our subject, our authors, and the readers would have been impossible. In ancient times our ancestors had a first-hand knowledge of nature. In those days everyone was a biologist, and the world was a classroom. In their earliest glimmerings of thought, it's said, people made no distinction between living and non-living things. Everything was supposed to be alive, a fruit subject of biological research. This included trees, animals, and the very stones themselves. In the course of their studies, our ancestors must have noticed an obvious fact, some things tended to reproduce themselves. And to the primitive mind, it may well have seemed that even rocks could give birth to little pebbles. Many scholars believe that, primitive people saw no connection, between reproduction and sex. The nine months between conception and birth, was supposedly enough to stymie the smartest stone ager. And what does sex have to do, with the reproduction of rocks? We must admit this theory slightly skeptical. It seems possible, that men might have missed the connection, but could women have overlooked, what was happening to their own bodies? Enlightenment came. According to this theory, when people first domesticated animals, and saw their reproductive cycle close up and often mating one season, birth in another. It must have come as a great shock to discover, that men had something to do with making babies. It's said to have caused big changes in society, such as Father's Day, paternity suits and the patriarchy, but this is a biology books, and we won't go into all that. Along with this, came the notion that like begets like, the first really genetic idea. And so began practical genetics or selective breeding. The herders began controlling their animals mating, choosing the best specimens for reproduction, and getting rid of the worst. Result? A breed of proud, tough and wild animals was reduced to something docile, woolly, and sheepish. At the same time people were domesticating plants. Early farmers used the same methods, as the animal herders, weeding out undesirable strains, and planting only the best seed. This happened almost everywhere in the world, scrawny weeds and grasses were turned into rich, productive crops. Rice, wheat, barley, and dates in Asia, corn, squash, tomatoes, potatoes and peppers in America, yams, peanuts, and gourds in Africa, all specially improved by humans. Plants have sex too. They're just less noisy about it than animals. Early on, people noticed the importance of pollination, pollen dust must land on a flower, before it can produce fertile seeds. However, the early farmers really didn't know, why pollination worked so they added some magic, just to be on the safe side. These are Assyrian priests in the picture, pollinating a date bomb, around 800 years before Christ.